Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be talking about a unit circle. So what is a unit circle? As you can see over here a unit circle is a circle whose radius is always 1. So in this example you can see that this is a unit circle and its radius is 1. Now in this example I will show you how to find the unit circle value for sine and cosine for all these values from 0 degrees all the way to 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing what I want you to do is I want you to put an ordered pair right up here. I want you to put one right up here. I want you to put two right up here. I want you to put three right up here. Now I want you to go backward. I want you to put one, two, and what? Three. Now the next thing what I want you to do is I want you to take the square root of all these numbers. So take the square root of all these numbers. And finally I want you to divide these numbers by 2 as you can see I am doing. Now the next thing what we're going to do is, so we're going to simplify these numbers. So 1 with the square root is same as 1. So this could be written as what? 1 over 2 comma square root of 3 over 2. This is same as writing square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2 and finally this is square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 over 2. So we filled out these values for the very first quadrant. So we're gonna be just simply copying down all these values exactly same way on quadrant 2, 3 and 4. I want you to pause the video and see can you do it on your own. So as you can see I have filled out the second, third and fourth quadrant. Just I did nothing else but just simply copied and pasted those values on the other side because right now whatever I put over here for 60 degrees 1 over 2 uh, comma square root of 3 over 2 I just put the same thing over here there's no gimmick whatsoever the only thing the next thing is yes, you have to be careful is we are in the first quadrant we know that we have x comma y when we go in the second quadrant x becomes negative so they simply become negative x comma why? That means all these first numbers in this ordered pair must be negative. So that means this is going to become negative, this is going to become negative, this is going to become negative. And now in the third quadrant as you see that both x and y are negative. So that means it means that this is going to be negative, this is going to be negative as well. This is going to be negative, this is going to be negative. This is going to be negative and this is going to be negative. And finally in the fourth quadrant you can see here we have a x is positive but y is negative. That means the second number over here in the quadrant pair, quadrant uh, this ordered pair is going to be negative. Over here negative, negative, and negative. And that really completes our unit circle. And our final values for this unit circle looks like this thing as I have put it more neatly and nicely. And that's complete our lesson. One more thing I want to tell you that x over here x corresponds to cosine theta and y corresponds to 
sine of theta. So that means if you are looking at, let's say, sine of 135, as you can see in the second quadrant, you can easily tell that sine is the second number over here, which is square root of 2 over 2. That's all you have to do. Thanks for watching. Bye.